Hey, this is Ms. Johnson. Um, I just wanted to start this video with some um, very important lesson parts that you need to be aware of as you work through your OMS lessons. Um, so there are some really key um, parts to each lesson um, and some of them have more examples than others, but I wanted to make sure that you guys are aware. Um, as soon as you start a lesson, there will be a little tab that looks like this that is called lesson resources and you always want to start by clicking that open and looking at the objectives there will be objectives listed there for each lesson and this one is um, actually from lesson 10 I think or 9 it doesn't matter anyway this is just a sample um, so you will see on the lesson resources the objectives for the lesson those are really important because that gives you an idea of what you're going to be covering in that lesson so um, it's really good to go ahead and look at those. I would even jot those down into my notes um, just because this is going to be what is taught or covered in that lesson so that this is what you will need to understand by the time you finish that lesson. You will also see keywords um, and those are going to be listed on that re lesson resources page as well as throughout the lesson and usually they're going to be bolded and have a blue hyperlink that gives you um, a definition or an explanation once you click on the hyperlink. So always pay attention to those keywords. Those are going to be really important. There are going to be interactive activities throughout the lessons and those are going to give you practice using skills that they have already covered or taught in the lesson. So it's really important and, and the thing about doing those interactive um, activities is that if you miss something, replay it retry it until you get it all correct um, so you can check yourself um, for each of those um, activities and, and make sure that you are practicing what you are learning in the lesson. There are also going to be videos um, and this is actually just a snip from one of the videos. Some of them are going to be um, instructional, well they're actually all going to be instructional but some of them will be um, individual students um, like the little cheesy um, students that speak in adult voices that crack me up but um, there will be videos that show how things are done or um, explain a thought process or explain what you know a student might be thinking as they're working through the lesson so those videos are really important for you to pay attention to um, and so don't skip over those make sure that you watch those you can also click um, at the bottom of the video and do um, click on the text or transcript if you need to pull some notes from that because that will open up the the actual words and you can copy and paste into your notes or you can copy them um, if you're doing pencil paper notes and then the last thing is you'll always see questions and answers and sometimes the answers will be in um, you'll have to access the answers by clicking on the little blue hyperlink um, and there are always going to be question and answers in the review part of the lesson at the end before you get to the quiz. Those are very important and you're going to find that those actually will connect back up to those um, objectives. So um, pay close, close attention to those and make sure that by the end of the lesson you go back and review those um, objectives for the lesson to make sure that you have mastered those things and if not you may want to go back through and review or review your notes. The last thing that I want to share about actually working through the OMS lesson is that it is so so important to take notes as you're going through because when you get to the quiz um, you're going to want to be able to review your notes not only for the quiz but also when you get to the unit review you're going to want to make sure that you um, can have something to go back without having to go back through every single lesson. So if you keep your notes, then you have a quick reference to go back and study. Those are just some tips for working through the lesson. And now I'm going to um, share with you how you can be successful in you in the OMS. So stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Miss Johnson. Um, I just wanted to share with you um, some tips on how to be successful in OMS um, and share with you in case you haven't figured out already where to go and how to access the things that you need to be successful. Um, 
So this is just a little recording. Hopefully it will be helpful and I will try to be as brief as possible. So when you first log in, this is your landing page. Um, so if you if your teachers refer to your landing page, um, this is what they're referring to. And I want to point out a couple of things about your landing page. The first thing is that over here, you'll see um, up here at the top right that um, this particular student has 33 unread emails. This is not a good sign, you guys. We want to make sure that you keep up with reading those emails. Remember that I know Ms. Johnson has stressed it several times um, in Class Connect that you want to make sure and check your email in the morning before you get started and each day before you um, close out your classroom or your work. So you should never have 33 um, unread emails. That's not a good thing. We want to make sure and go in and, and, um, and I will share with the student they need to go in and, and um, look at those emails. The second thing is that um, you'll notice over here on the left, your schedule, and you guys should be accustomed to this because this is where you're gonna go to, um, to access your Class Connect sessions. All of those will be in order. Um, so for this student, this student has um, science first period. So the login times are there. Um, those are the links. Those are also the links for the recording. So if you miss a class, um, say, for example, you had a doctor's appointment and you were not able to be in class at 8.30. Um, at the end of the day, you can always click on that class and it will actually take you to the recording. And all you have to do is click on that recording and it will open up that recording of that class session for you so that you don't miss um, a class. Class recordings are really important, especially if you have to miss. If you are required to attend classes, it is really important that you um, do log in and you do watch the videos. That does mark you as, um, as having attended, even though it's not in the live Class Connect, which is where you're supposed to be. Um, the second thing that you want to notice is over here under your schedule, and I want you to notice that you can select the date. Um, and you can also set it up right now. It's set up to do as a day. So we're looking at one day's activities and assignments and um, don't get overwhelmed. Some of these um, you'll notice these are um, assignments in the OMS. So every class is listed here. So you, every single assignment um, and sometimes it will be a repeat from the day before or sometimes it will just be a link to the quiz. Um, so just because you, you see, you know, 10 assignments here doesn't mean that they're all going to take you forever. I also want to show you that you can access the week view. Okay, so if you are curious as to what's kind of going to be going on, you can also look at it this way. Um, now, I want to show you a, a different, actually, the, the way that I like to look at um, the class assignments is a little bit different, but this is one way, and I will share my favorite way in just a moment. Your classes obviously is going to um, open up your um, individual classes and you will be able to quickly at a glance and learning coaches um, or parents, this is a really quick way to go in and see how your student is doing or students, this is a great way to check and see kind of your progress. This gives you just an average. Now this doesn't give you any classroom grade details. This is just your grade at this particular point. Um, so if teachers have put in grades and they are up to date at the end of the week, this grade should be correct for each class. Um, now I'm going to go into language arts because that's my class um, in just a second. And we're going to dig a little deeper into what's actually in the OMS class um, page. But I want to show you also the announcements. This is a page that's going to show you um, school announcements. Now your teachers will, will post um, different teacher or class announcements on each individual class page, but this is for overall school stuff. So you can notice that um, September the 8th, um, there will be a, a session um, setting your student up for success. Um, so if you want to um, learn any coaches, that's stuff for you. September the 20th, getting started part one, all of these different things um, are just announcements for the school that you have access to. So that's what's going to be on the announcements page. Okay, you can see now that I have logged into the language arts um, class connect, um, excuse me, not class connect, the OMS class page. Um, and you'll be able to see here um, this particular student's page. Okay, across the top here in the purple, which happens to be Ms. Johnson's favorite color, um, these are some quick links. And you can notice that um, right now you're not able to go further. That's because these are the only modules that are accessible right now. 
Um, but as we continue to, to move into different units, you will be able to scroll um, to the right or back to the left. Your course materials, that's the information that you should have read at the very beginning of class. This is a link to the online textbook. And if you click here, it's going to take you to um, a link. It's going to open up a new page. And you'll see here, this will actually take you to the online textbook. Now, you should have a copy of your textbook, your language arts textbook. Um, but if you enjoy reading online or if you can't find your book, um, on a particular day and you need to read something, this is a great way to just quickly access your textbook online. So um, that is the link to the online textbook. Um, the next thing is recording slides and notes. And you'll notice that in this module um, I have set up, and I'm not sure how Ms. Jackson will continue um, to upload stuff, but you can see that for August, um, the drop down box is open. Um, I can close that up now that we're finished with August, but um, all of the class connects for August, the slides and the recordings, um, any audio recordings. Now, not your class recordings. Those are going to be remembering your schedule. Um, you can just go back to the day that you want to watch and, and find those recordings. Um, but each of the slides, um, so for example, this, this day on the 4th, we covered um, genres and writing a theme statement. Those are the, the Class Connect slides that you can access um, if you want to go back and review any information or go to a breakout room or if you need to go back and take notes, whatever you need. That those are going to be posted there for you. Now, the audio recordings, those are some things that Ms. Johnson does, and I'm not sure whether or not Ms. Jackson will continue those, but if she does, um, they will be located in the, in the um, recordings, slides, and notes page, okay? Um, so that's what is in that module, and each month there will be a new um, subfolder in that. The interactive notebook is something that you guys can go and check out on your own. That is that is a, um, a wealth of information. It's just different resources for all different um, topics within language arts. And then we have our content, which over here is unit one. That's what we're working on. And you can see the dates are August the 23rd through September the 26th. So we will be finishing up this unit at the end of September. Um, and here we have Miss Jackson. And if you click right there, that's going to take you to um, an email page where you can email Ms. Jackson. Um, so that is very handy. Now, I want to show you across the top of the screen some very important information. The first one that I want to point out is the plan. Now, you will see, you guys probably already know over here on the left side, you have a class plan for the day. And this shows you the activities that you will be doing. And those are quick links. They will take you right to the assignment. Um, but I personally like to look at the, um, the plan, and I like to look at it as, as soon as it opens, I'll show you, because it's kind of like a little calendar. Um, and you can set it up to, to do an agenda type, an agenda style, so that it's just a list, and you can go through and check those things off as you, as you need to. And each of your courses are going to um, be listed there. This is language arts, and then we have science for the day. And then we have social studies and math. Um, all of your assignments are going to be there listed in the agenda. Um, now, if you click on day, it's going to be pretty much the same thing, except you're going to see um, the assignments more like this. You want to make sure that you have all of your um, stuff set to, to show. So if you are not showing any, um, like, for example, if you don't have, um, if you are in art and you don't have your art um, calendar showing, it's not going to show up your assignment. So you want to make sure that you have all of your core classes on there listed. You can also click it to, to show the week. Again, this is just a great way, especially learning coaches or parents, if you are trying to figure out what is going to be going on for the week. Um, this is a great way to see kind of the overview of what all is going to be there. And you'll notice that some of the, the classes um, are listed up in the all day, um, and then some of them actually have specific deadlines, and so you'll see those down at the end of the day. And sometimes you'll have a repeat of the same thing. So if you click on something, that just means um, down here, um, that's when it opens, and then over here, it may be when it closes or when it's due. So just check those to be sure that you're doing what you need to do. You can also view it as a month, which is kind of overwhelming, but um, it's it's also kind of 
um, good to see if if everything is in there and sometimes the um, the teachers may not do a whole month at a time so it may just be a couple of weeks at a time but you can look and see um, each day you know what's what's there uh, that, that's a little overwhelming to me I don't like looking at that one I like to pref I prefer it on the week or the day you can also simply do a list so you have lots of options for looking at your plan um, to know what's going to be there and notice that I'm still in the language arts class um, the OMS class but I'm looking at all of my classes so that's the really awesome thing about the plan in your class is that you can see all of your classes at the same time so I want to show you what happens when you click on one of these links you're going to see a little um, dialog box that opens up um, and it's showing you exactly what that assignment is. So for this particular day, we were supposed to be working on 1.09 um, writing workshop, which is lesson 1.09 OMS. And if we click on more, it's going to take you to that lesson. So you don't even have to go hunt for the lesson or anything, which now you can go to content and open it up that way. Um, and you can see that this student actually has gone through and once these are no longer dots, see like down here's a dot, that means that this student has not yet taken that quiz. But, but they have worked through the lesson and that means um, once those dots become check marks, let, that lets you know that they are now um, completed and this student just hasn't taken the quiz yet. So I wanted to point that out to you. Um, and you can also tell, you know, that this, this particular lesson has not been completed because this has not gone all the way to 100%. So parents or learning coaches, this is a really good way to check and see, okay, has my, has my student completed um, the work for this particular assignment? That's a quick way to, to tell. And now what happens when you click on this blue link, I'm not going to show you, but when you click on that blue link, it's going to take you directly to the lesson in the content. Um, of the class. Now you can also print if you want to, um, parents, if you're planning, um, this is a really good way to um, to show, um, to print everything at one time. Um, and it's going to show you, um, you can choose how many days ahead you want to go. You can do two days or um, you can do you can do five days, seven days, a whole week, whatever you want to do. Um, if it's stuff that has already been completed, you can hide those. Um, if you want to show the completed tasks, then you can you can definitely choose to show that. Um, that's under settings, so I'm not going to change any of that for the student. Um, but you can also print, and when you print, it's going to show exactly what you. Um, are wanting to print. So you can print events um, between certain dates. Um, you can check to see what exactly is going to print. You can see uh, based on the checks if the if the student has already completed that work. Um, if it's a dot then it hasn't been completed. So this, this student jumped from um, 1.07. They skipped 1.08 and jumped to 109. Um, so they skipped that lesson entirely which might be of interest if you're the learning coach. Um, so lots of great information there in the plan. Content is simply going to list all of the content, all of the units. Now, a lot of that you will not have access to, um, but it will, it will be there. You just won't be able to click on it. Your progress is really important. Um, that shows you how much time you've spent in the classroom, um, how much uh, progress you've made as far as your lessons. You can look at grades, you can look at discussions and assignments that have been turned in. Um, I would suggest, and I'm not going to show you this, but go in and look, look that over, check it out and see what's there. The other thing that I wanted to point out to you is the grades. This is one of the most important um, things. And you, so I'm just going to take you through the steps of this, okay? So when you open the grades tab, this is only for language arts because that's the, the class that we are in. And you'll notice each of the grades that has been assigned so far this, um, this semester will be listed. So, and you will see the score. If you see um, a, a dash, that means that a score hasn't been entered or maybe that assignment hasn't been completed yet or maybe we haven't gotten to it yet. So you can see so far we have, we've got um, scores for the map completion of the language usage test. We had a completion grade for the pretest for language arts. 
um, and those were completion grades, so you should have gotten a 100 if those were completed. It doesn't matter what you scored on those. Um, and then you see here, this is what I really want to point out to you because this is very helpful or it can be very helpful. Um, I have a, a lot of times um, parents will send emails and they'll want to know I, or they'll say, I don't understand why my child is failing. Or a student may email and say, Ms. Johnson, my grade went from a, a 92 down to a 76. What in the world happened? This is a great way to go in and see exactly why your grade may have dropped or why your grade is what it is. This shows you everything. Um, now, not every teacher is going to have the same format. This is this just happens to be what I have been using. And once Ms. Jackson takes over the class, this may change um, based on her style. But you'll see here that if you um, did not score a 75%, you can retake that. Now, remember, you only have two attempts for each quiz. So it's really important that you prepare and take your time and do your best. And then I give you a link to go back and review that particular lesson. Now, over here, um, I didn't do it at the beginning, but I just want to kind of remind you as you look at the at your test score or your quiz score, um, this is going to be a link to um, that particular quiz. You do not want to go and jump right back in and retake that quiz if you failed it the first time. Um, you don't want to simply go back and retake it right away. You want to give yourself some time. You want to make sure that you've gone back through the lesson or gone through the lesson because sometimes student jumps straight to the quiz instead of working through the lesson. Um, you want to make sure that you've taken really good notes and that you've studied those notes before you go attempt it again because remember you only get two attempts and the only way that you can earn a third attempt at this point is to attend a content learner conference in the afternoon. Okay, so the, this is just really quick access. You can see this student has a zero here. Um, so they would want to go back and click here and review that lesson and then retake the quiz. Okay, that is very important. Um, so always, if you're in doubt about why your grade dropped or why your grade is what it is, click on your grades tab and just scroll through and take a peek at what you, um, what you have earned. Now, another cool thing um, that you can check out is the tools tab. Under tools, you're going to have um, assignments, which is going to be if you have a writing assignment that is that goes into a Dropbox or into an assignment folder, you're going to find those there. So I'm going to click on that because we actually do have an assignment that is due um, next Friday, and that is 1.05 graded assignment. So that you can find, you can access the assignment there. If you click on that, it's going to open up and tell you exactly what the assignment is. Okay. It's going to give you a rubric. If you scroll down, you'll see where you can submit the assignment by adding a file. And remember that you're going to want to type your file up in Word in a Word document and save it. Um, this is only for comments. This is not a discussion board, so you're not going to just type your response in here. This is only for comments. In order for you to earn a grade on um, an assignment, that has to be done in an assignment folder submitted into the assignment folder. It has to go through the add a file. Okay, so you'll you'll click add a file. You'll go and find your file um, from your computer and attach it and then click submit. Now that is for assignments. If you click on tools and go to discussions, it's going to take you to discussions. All right, and our first discussion was the e, the um, 1.02 introduction discussion that was due 831. And you'll notice here that this student has not posted a discussion. If you had posted something, there would be numbers here and you would also be able to see all of your other classmates um, posts. So you can go and check out what your classmates have posted. This student unfortunately has not posted this assignment um, to the discussion board yet, so there is nothing to show over here. Um, but you can see here the specifics, the, the requirements for the assignment are written right out there for you to look at. And then there's also, I included some tips and the rubric for how you will be graded for that discussion. Um, so far, this is the only one, this is the only discussion assignment that we have had, so this is the only one that's showing up. But later in the semester, you'll see others as well um, when others are assigned. 
Okay, now that is it as far as um, what I wanted to share with you. Um, I did, I, had, I know that I told you guys before, this is a really quick way to, um, to access your other classes rather than going back to your home landing page. This is a quick access and you can, um, you can just quickly move to your other classes if you want to go, um, for example, if you wanted to go and work in math, you could quickly go there to the grid up there and, um, and go to your math. I hope that this has been helpful. Um, please let me know if you have any questions and I hopefully it will help you to be more successful in navigating and finding your grades and doing your very best in um, the OMS. Thank you so much.